A few days ago, uh, my one of the viewer has received an email from NHS after successfully applying for a job on their site. The job offered visa sponsorship, and I will be reading the email on the screen to discuss the recent updates on visas in the UK. Uh, it's important to stay informed about immigration changes. If you plan to come to the UK, stay tuned as I share the details from the email in this video. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. If you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And to all my returning subscribers, thank you for your support. So uh, let's dive into the email now, but I will keep the sender's name confidential. Uh, the email mentioned that the applicant doesn't currently have the right to work in the UK. Before moving further, I just want to inform you that I have a WhatsApp channel and TikTok channel where I post UK visa sponsorship opportunities for everyone and the links are in the description. <clears throat> so let's go back to the topic. If you are not sponsored by an organization in the form of a skilled worker visa, unfortunately, this post does not meet the necessary requirements for sponsorship. Therefore, we will be unable to proceed. Please remember that in the job description, there was a certificate of sponsorship mentioned. I'm addressing this issue by providing a link below, which you may find helpful for more information on the sponsorship process and eligibility. The required skill level for this post is at RQF2. As you can see, it is different from RQF3. Unfortunately, this is a required characteristics, which means the post doesn't mean the required 70 point as per the above link. We have advertised a senior healthcare assistant post as this trust and the high end of this salary would qualify for sponsorship. It is also a job at the appropriate skill level of RQ3 and above. Therefore, if you have the necessary skills and experience at, less, at least three years in the similar role, then a higher salary could be justified. Please keep an eye out for this advertisement. We are grateful for your interest in our roles as an UH. Please continue to view and vacancies here to learn more about working for us. Also, don't be discouraged for applying vacancies with us in the future if they match your skills, experience and values in line with our uh, sponsorship through visa requirements. This email was sent by the NHS as mentioned earlier when he was applying for this job, it was stated that sponsorship was required. This is to inform you that if a trust is given sponsorship, they might automatically include it in all their job adverts. They are stating that the job requires RQF level 2, which means it is a band 2 position in the NHS. However, many NHS trusts do not sponsor band 2 positions. So this is what you should look out for. Make sure the job is a banned position and also consider the salary range. Earlier this year, the salary threshold for skilled workers and other job in the UK government has been changed to around £23,600. Please note that if the salary range is not between 22000 to 24000 it is not advisable to apply for that job. The highest frequency is 24000 which means that job can sponsor and adjust the earnings accordingly. Before applying to an NHS job, there are two things you should note. Firstly, receiving an email like this uh, should not discourage you. It does not mean you don't know what you are doing or that they are not accepting applications. It simply means that it is a level 2 job and not a level 3. And the salary threshold may not meet the requirements for sponsorship to uh, the NHS so secondly, when searching for the for job, it's better to use the keyword healthcare assistant band three. To filter out irrelevant positions, applying to NHS jobs can be uh, tedious, you know. So especially uh, when writing personal supporting statements, I want you to avoid receiving discouraging emails like this. Please ensure that the job has a certificate of sponsorship, meets the salary threshold and is a band three position. Now let's discuss what RQF means. RQF stands for Regulated Qualification Framework, which consists of different levels ranging from level one to level eight. Please note that 
the text has been written below okay so uh, i wanted to talk about something important if you have completed a level 3 diploma in uh, health and social care uh, then you are eligible for rqf level 3 it's a great qualification to have uh, even if you only have a regular high school diploma so before you start applying for the jobs make sure you are applying to the right one at the right time choose the right keywords and be sure you are on the right track also check the salary threshold and consider if the job is worth being sponsored for you sometimes the system may say that the company can sponsor you but it's important to also yourself <clears throat> Ask to yourself that a specific job can actually provide sponsorship. <coughs> so that's all for this video. I hope you find it helpful. And don't forget to like and share this video with your friends. So see you in the next video.